Reliable and affordable high-speed internet is vital for the prosperity of rural areas, as it is the cornerstone that enables efficient modern communications between rural households, schools, healthcare centers, as well as markets and customers around the world. Unfortunately, activating broadband in these areas is often seen as unsustainable by communication service providers, or CSPs, as this would call for a drastic change in radios and an increase in the number of deployed antennas, leading to an exponential rise in the total cost of ownership. But as CSPs transform their networks to deliver innovative new services by adopting RAN programmability, they see an opportunity to apply technology the industry has not even imagined yet and in sectors where innovation is most needed. Powered by VMware's RAN Intelligent Controllers, RIC, Cohere Technologies XAP is a clear example of how the use of programmability can help redefine the dichotomy of delivering broadband services and sustainable network management. With Cohere's Spectrum Multiplier, CSPs can double UE bandwidth while avoiding costly changes in handsets or infrastructure. Here is how it's done. Given that the delay Doppler-based channel representation is based on physical, geometrical aspects of the channel that change very slowly, the channel estimate is accurate and predictable across time and frequency. Accurate knowledge of the channel enables the formation of orthogonal beams to support multi-user MIMO in TDD or FDD. Orthogonal beams allow spectral reuse so that with a 4T4R dual polarized antenna, cell throughput is nearly doubled. With higher order antenna arrays, additional beams are supported for massive multi-user MIMO and orthogonal beam forming enables efficient spectrum sharing between LTE and 5G. Now, let's look at the system performance measurements with two UEs attached. On the window, on the right, displays measurements from the Cohere software. The thick black trace is the most recently computed beam for the first UE. The thick red trace is the most recently computed beam for the second UE and includes throughput and a representation of the beams derived from the computed precoder coefficients. For the first scenario, we will first enable traffic to a single UE so that it receives two layers in single user MIMO. The layer two traffic measured by the UE is about 115 megabits per second. The layer one traffic to the UE is 128 megabits per second, which is also the aggregate cell throughput. For the second scenario, we will enable traffic to both UEs so that they share the physical layer resources in single user MIMO. Since the resources are shared, the Layer 2 traffic to both UEs is now about 57 megabits per second and corresponds to an aggregate cell throughput of 114 megabits per second. For Scenario 3, we will switch the configuration to multi-user MIMO and we will temporarily interrupt the throughput during the transition. We will enable traffic to one of the UEs. We again see the expected Layer 2 traffic of 115 megabits per second now, we will enable the traffic to the second UE so that the multi-user MIMO scheduler reuses the resources between the two UEs and the coefficient computation continuously computes the precoder coefficients to maintain orthogonality between the beams. Now, we see that both UEs receive the full throughput so that the cell throughput is doubled. The Layer 2 traffic to each UE is 115 megabits per second for the combined total throughput of 243 megabits per second. To summarize, Cohere Software Multi-User MIMO offers significant benefits with no changes to existing handsets, radios, and antennas, and works in all available spectra, enabling true 4G and 5G coexistence. These technical benefits, paired with the programmability that VMware's RIC brings to any RAN deployment, are the perfect answer to providing sustainable broadband in rural areas.